Hi, I'm Kevin from the Museum of Science and Industry. Today I'm on the 103rd floor of the Willis Tower at the Sky Deck, where we have a beautiful view of the city of Chicago. But we're not here for the view today. We're here for the tallest, fastest elevator in the city, where we're going to do some science in just a few minutes. But before, I have a question. How do you know when something's heavy? One way to know is to feel it. Hold it in your hand. You can tell if something's heavy. Another way is to use a tool, like the scale I have here. This scale measures the force that I'm squeezing on it by moving the dial. The same thing happens when I stand on it. Right now, the scale is reading my actual weight. But what would happen if we used the scale in the elevator? Let's begin by making a prediction about what the reading on the scale will be on our ride down the elevator. Let's observe it. Okay, the elevator just started moving and I can feel it going down like when you get those little butterflies in your stomach when you go over a roller coaster hill really, really fast. As we keep going, now it feels kind of normal. I'm not really noticing anything different about if I was standing on the street or if I'm standing in this elevator right now. We're gonna keep moving down 103 floors or 412 meters till we get to the bottom. When we get to the bottom, oh, there it is. I can start to feel the elevator slowing down and now we're gonna come to a stop and we're at the bottom. At the top, the scale read my actual weight. When we started moving downward, the scale read less than my actual weight. Eventually, in the middle of the elevator ride, the scale returned to my actual weight. Then as we neared the bottom, the scale read more than my actual weight, until we finally stopped at the bottom and the scale read my actual weight once again. <laughs> Try this again. Before the elevator starts moving, the scale reads my actual weight. Once we start moving downward, we're accelerating from 0 to 8 meters per second. Because of this, the forces become unbalanced and the scale will read less than my actual weight. In a way, we're falling, but in a controlled way, which makes me squeeze down on the scale less than I was before. Once we reach a constant speed in the middle of the ride, the forces become balanced again and the scale reads my actual weight again. This will continue until the elevator begins to slow down as we reach the bottom and we accelerate in the opposite direction. When the elevator does that, it pushes up on me and my inertia moving myself down pushes on the scale more than it did before, causing the scale to read heavier than my actual weight. Once we stop again, the forces will become balanced one more time and, my, and the scale will read my actual weight once again. Today we've been modeling a microgravity environment by riding the express elevator down. Microgravity is the condition of an object in free fall. Astronauts experience microgravity when they're in the International Space Station orbiting the Earth. It's that weightlessness that we see them floating around. We couldn't experience perfect microgravity today on Earth. That would have involved cutting the cable in the elevator. Not a good thing. That's science in an elevator.